If you're like me, then you've been farming the airdrop that Alluvium has announced for players to get this month. And of course, this will be happening on the newest version of the game that introduces a host of new elements in the private beta 4 version. But in today's episode, I wanted to compare the older version with the new and highlight some things you might have missed or explain why I feel in the next few months, this game will massively start pulling all the tricks out of the bag to unleash something amazing at full launch. So right away, Private Beta 4 is introducing a bunch of new elements, including tutorial mode for Overworld, but one interesting change they've made is a redesign to Sancta Mesa. If you're unfamiliar with it, before what players had to look at was a basic path that would lead you up to an invisible wall. Even though we could still get around it, now you are able to enjoy more of a scenic route to the airship that has crash landed here. And to be honest, this feels nicer and I appreciate the environment more, which I believe was the intention for Sancta Mesa. Not only that, but the ship that crash landed has also gotten an upgrade or rather downgrade as the damage to it is more prominent and visible this time around. Some key things you will also notice is they have a portal at the start and also you will notice these rifts in the game as they will be the basis for alluvials to escape through. Abyssal Basin has seen the biggest change going from acid water that players couldn't touch and forcing you to use lily pads to a moonlight view of a beautiful blue atmosphere that I feel is one of the better maps. However, I feel the acid the developers wanted in the game was something to help players feel the danger of the level. However, I feel if they ever utilize a day and night mode, they could implement both where the sun changes the water to acid and the moonlight nullifies it. The gun is the biggest change, not only allowing you to equip other weapons to it, but the charge shot is such a useful tool opposed to previous versions where it could charge up and then lose power. And shooting down multiple objects as opposed to going up to each one and scanning it really allows players to make more efficiency of their time. And also is great since you will be hunting alluvials that are running away and not these blue orbs that are floating around the arena. Now we have still yet to see the other maps, but just looking and comparing some of the leak footage to what we have now is the biggest reason why I feel the team at Alluvium is definitely holding back the big guns for when the game is fully released and why I've been playing every day so I don't miss a thing. So my name's Godson and if you aren't subscribed, make sure you follow me and of course if you want to join in on the fun, check the description below to get registered for the game because you won't want to miss any future airdrops that is going to happen this year. So thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next episode.